Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghavind Mishra and in this video we will explore REST Assured which is powerful tool for automating API test in Java. We will cover the basics, setup and practical example to get you started. This will be helpful for you to answer a REST Assured question during interviews. So uh, what is REST Assured? REST Assured is a powerful Java library that simplifies API testing, particularly RESTful web services and APIs. So it provides domain specific language DSL for writing powerful maintainable uh, test for RESTful services. Testing and validating uh, uh, REST services in Java is harder than uh, in dynamic language such as Ruby and Groovy, right? So REST Assured, what it does? REST Assured brings the simplicity of using these languages into the Java domain. Okay, so before uh, wasting uh, much time, more time, let us go to the Eclipse. We are in Eclipse and create a, a REST Assured project. Okay, so I'm gonna create a project, Maven project, and I will name it REST Assured. Let me copy the same to the artifact ID, and my project is created right so here is my project and now you need certain dependency uh, to add to this project so what are those uh, dependency and uh, prerequisites basically so i'm gonna add a couple of uh, dependencies my dependencies which are rest assured and test ng okay and also we have eclipse id where we have created our project we need to have Java and Maven also installed in case we want to, you know, execute uh, these programs, basically these run, uh, runs, uh, these um, uh, rest assured classes from the command line, we need to have Maven installed in our system. So let me just show you what version of Java I am using. So I'm using Java 17.0.2 and uh, Maven, if I may search, for Java version MVN V so you can see the Maven version also 3.9.5 Maven version is installed in this system okay so yeah with that let us add certain dependencies to the pom.xml inside this project so as I said it needs the rest assured jars and this is java library okay so at the time of creating this video i'm using i'm going to take 5.5.0 you can see here let me add this and at the same time we can add test ng Okay, so I'll take, click on test ng, I'll take the latest 10.10.2. So I will also add this dependency to the project. So you can see it is getting downloaded and you can see the Maven dependencies, all those rest assured jars and test ng jar which you have added has been downloaded to this Maven dependency uh, folder okay and has been added to the build path also okay in this project so you can see the build path configure build path module dependencies and libraries okay so you can see the Maven dependency has been as added as a library right so all these jars are added to the Java build path all right so now we have added dependencies to the project now we can go ahead and create one class test ng class inside this src test java so i'll create a test ng class and i can name it as api test or rest assured api rest assured api test okay 
Now, since you are going to test the API, so what could be those API and where will you get? So there are some uh, APIs available free of cost. So you can use one of them. Those could be like weather API or, you know, traffic and I mean, API related to the traffic update and all temperature, right? So for demonstration, I'm going to uh, use recresponse.in site and I will take sample APIs from here. So you can see uh, there are some requests, get request and uh, okay and post request all are here okay so you can take one of them for demonstration i'm gonna use get api in this program in the next video we will see the post and other request also so this is that url this is the endpoint okay rec response dot in api uses space to so i'll create one method which is gonna be a public wide get request since i'm going to use the get request so let me add let me create with the get request and i'm gonna add test ng annotation so which is test and let me hold shift control and o to download to import this test ng annotation dot test and inside which i can write the rest assured command so what it is going to be so i'll create the object of response okay class and uh, let me just so this is different than this because this java is case sensitive and i'm gonna use um, let's say get and rest assured rest assured dot get and this could be this should be uh, my endpoint okay which i have already copied and i will put it like this now it is throwing error for response. So I have to add this to rest assured response. I have added this package. Okay. I have imported this response. So next, since I'm going to get the, I'm going to store the response of this get command, this get request in this uh, variable. Okay. So with that, I can, uh, uh, get to know like what kind of you know status code or time i'm getting out of this you know api endpoint okay so let me just write everything inside the system dot 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 system dot out dot print ln i mean print a statement and i'm gonna use a response object to get the status code of the api okay and that api is basically the get request and you can see the endpoint over here okay users paid equal to two and then what you can do you can simply write a couple of more print out a statement and get the time also get time okay you can also write a couple of more things system s y s o that is shortcut and just press just hold control and space bar and press enter response dot you can get body and body as a string as a string i'll just copy this okay and paste it a couple of times i'll just change that response and the get the status line status line get a status code also we have already used a status code okay and then session id also we can uh, try but for now 
let us let us see if uh, my program is working fine this rest and we are getting the expected output out of this for formatting i can use pretty format or just hold control i so after selecting this control i is it will set the indentation and then after you save this program you can run this test in the class see everything goes well and we have got the result over here let us see what we have got in the console so we have got is it yeah this is get request of course and this is summary and do we have anything here in the console yeah we have got one pass and failure failures are zero okay so we have executed this program successfully and we have got the response so since this uh, particular you know get request was executed successfully so it gives 200 http response okay and we have got the get time so it took a uh, 0.8 second okay uh, to serve this request and this is uh, my body which we have sent okay you can see that here okay per page and all six six so we are printing over here okay and then status line also http okay all right so this has been successfully executed so in the next video we will see about uh, how to uh, uh, use other you know uh, request api request http request basically and uh, we'll cover uh json and uh, uh other stuff in the next video so that's it from this video and uh, i hope you have liked the explanation and learned from this video and uh, please do like do like and subscribe to my channel and share it share it with your friends also share the feedback in comment section thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video